200,000 people gathered for a vigil at Rome's Circus Maximus on the eve of the beatification of Pope John Paul II on April 30th. Cardinal Agostino Valini, vicar for the Diocese of Rome, presided at the event and expressed his hope that John Paul II, quote, will help us in all circumstances to be witnesses of Christ and messengers of the love of God in the world." During the vigil, a series of videos that included footage of key moments from the life of the late pontiff were shown on the large screens set up around the Circus Maximus. After the video presentation, the faithful listened to three individuals who shared their personal experiences with the Pope, including Cardinal Stanislaw Zivich, John Paul II's personal secretary, Joaquin Navarro Valls, the director of the Holy See's press office during John Paul II's papacy, and Sister Marie Simone Pierre, the French nun whose miraculous cure of Parkinson's disease has been attributed to the intercession of the late Pope. During his remarks, Cardinal Jeevich said he knew John Paul II was a saint. I have known this for a long time, for many years and before he was elected Pope, the Cardinal said. Navarro Valls, who was visibly moved during his remarks, recalled that John Paul II went to confession every week and was profoundly devoted to prayer. Sister Marie Simone Pierre said that one day in June of 2005, she awoke at 4.30 in the morning and discovered she was cured of Parkinson's disease through the intercession of John Paul II. During the second half of the vigil, the luminous mysteries of the rosary were prayed, with Catholics gathered at five Marian shrines around the world joining in via satellite. Those gathered at the Shrine of Krakow in Poland prayed for young people. Catholics gathered at Kawekamo Bugando in Tanzania prayed for the family. The faithful at Notre Dame in Lebanon prayed for the new evangelization, while those gathered at the Basilica of Guadalupe in Mexico City prayed for hope and peace for all the nations of the world. And in Fatima, the faithful prayed for the future of the church. The vigil concluded with a greeting from Pope Benedict XVI via satellite. He prayed that the Virgin Mary would help mankind to renew the world from within, from the depths of silence and prayer.